Southeast Pennsylvania Synod. So this is an important time in the life of the seminary at Philadelphia. As you know, President Cray will be stepping down as president of the Lutheran Theological Seminary at Philadelphia later this year. There will be other opportunities to thank him and bless him and honor him and give him kudos and congratulations. Uh, but tonight here in Southeast Penn, we are thankful to him in many ways for making the way, the, the way he has made LTSP a seminary which is vibrant, diverse, a public church, raising up public leaders for a church in every context, but especially in the urban context. The seminary at Philadelphia, um, if you listen to KYW, and if you listen to our ecumenical partners all across all the other denominations of our city, just call it, not LTSP, they call it Lutheran. And that's how it's advertised. And so it's a proudly Lutheran school, it has a world-class faculty engaging curriculum that balances academic learning with experience in ministry and community. And uh, the students are prepared to be of the spirit and in the world. And boy, that is the combination for the 21st century. Uh, living stones, I should have to say. Ambassadors for Christ, as Bishop Hansen said earlier. So I invite uh, Dr. Cray to come and bring us some greetings and blessings. And uh, we, I have to say, we took the offering for the 150th with our envelopes, and we haven't finished taking all that offering. So I was going to give it to you tonight in bulk, but we're still collecting it. And I hope you will think that is a good thing. But we will be celebrating the 150th anniversary of the seminary at Philadelphia this whole year and we will be collecting uh, gifts in your honor, Dr. Cray. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop, Bishop Burkett. And please uh, join me in expressing my thanks to both Bishop Hansen and Bishop Burkett for the solid support of theological education that uh, that we have received at, uh, at Lutheran here in Philadelphia, uh, but uh, also across the, the system. So please join me in saying thanks to you. Because Bishop Kett, I've been asked to just say a few things about why theological education matters. And first of all, it's because pastors matter or leaders in congregations matter. As some of you may know, uh, Renee, my spouse and I have been members of St. Michael's Church in Germantown, Mount Airy. It's right on the, the edge for 25 years. And St. Michael's has raised our five children. Um, we have never intended, well, Renee's done much more work on it than I have, but never intended to raise the children, our children ourselves. We've always felt that it takes more leaders and it takes a congregation and especially pastors to raise children in this society. And that's, that's what pastors do in many ways. Uh, pastors Janet Peterman, Violet Little, Arvid Anderson was an associate pastor at St. Michael's for years. Harvey Davis, some of you may not even remember, Harvey was an associate pastor. James Kenneth Eccles was an associate pastor. All had made a contribution to our older children. And now more recently, uh, Pastor Andrina Ingram has helped us to raise Micah, you know, our, our, our youngest. But even more than that, uh, pastors are there for us, have been available to me and Renee in our joys and in our sorrows as you know, I've lost parents, we've lost parents and sisters and brought to us the, the message of eternal life, the message, the words of, of, of the cross and, and resurrection. But congregations do more than that for a family. As, as I think about our children, and as they have grown, it's the youth groups and the youth convos here in, uh, in uh, Southeast Penn Senate 
the big youth gatherings that they've coveted, or Lutheran summer music that, that our kids took uh, advantage of. It takes a congregation to raise leaders like Bishop Burkett, Bishop Hansen, uh, uh, Dr. Lowe's, and Dr. Duckworth, who's our daughter, yes. uh, who, uh, who, who has been raised by not only pastors, but by congregations and by the church at large. So I'm, I'm here to, to share with you that pastors matter, church leaders matter, uh, congregations matter, and this is what these seminaries in, in the theological education system do. We prepare leaders for your congregations and to help develop other leaders and bring to everyone the, the, the words of, of, of eternal life. So as Bishop Burkett has said, uh, we're celebrating at the seminary our 150th anniversary, doing important things for, for all of us, and we count on you to do our work and say thank you to you for your financial support, for your prayers, for all the good work, for the rooting for us that, that, that you do, especially in, in challenging times. And we will be celebrating, as Bishop Burkett has already noted, in a, in a, in a, really in a grand way at the ballroom at the Bend, which is just a couple of blocks from where the school was founded 150 years ago. Uh, and there'll be a liturgy at the site of the, of the founding and a, then a procession uh, to the, the BEM, which is at uh, uh, 9th Street and, and Chestnut. You'll, you'll, you'll hear all about this. Uh, but we hope uh, you can come. Uh, our presiding bishop, uh, Elizabeth Eaton, will, uh, will be the keynoter. And your bishop, our bishop, will be the MC. Uh, so you know, you know it'll be fun. The proceeds of the tickets will, uh, will go in, 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 in a great way to scholarships. And as you know, we've, we've been in a campaign uh, to raise money for uh, students, uh, for scholarships to, to help with, with, with student debt. But it's really, as I've learned from John Poitnin, our uh, uh, president of our foundation and vice president for philanthropy, it's really a missional issue. When, when it comes to providing scholarship aid for students. Let me ask uh, John to stand. Uh, he's, he's over here. If you need to talk to him, he's so excited. <laughs> so excited about these envelopes. Thank you, yes. and, um, and, and your, your, your giving. So that the, the total goal of the 150th anniversary campaign is uh, $16.5 million, and we're coming very close to, to achieving that. Uh, through, through all of your support. As Bishop Burkett said, um, you know, I'm about to end my, uh, my tenure as, as president, and I am so honored that the recommended candidate, you know uh, Bishop Burkett was on the search committee, uh, has been in our midst, uh, the Reverend Dr. David Lowe's. Uh, it's such a delight and an honor that theological education is attracting such talent such ability, and I think we can all be honored that, uh, that, uh, that Dr. Lowe's has, has been willing to, to go through the process, and so many others as well. As this will be my last opportunity to greet you uh, as, as the president, uh, I want to say thank you uh, to, to all of you and, and say that uh, I will be honored to pass on this cross, which is the Presidential Cross at Philadelphia Seminary. It's the city of Philadelphia on the Schuylkill. It's a, it's a baptismal image on the cross. So uh, it, was, it was made uh, a number of, of years ago, and I've been honored to, to carry this cross, but will be more honored to hang it around somebody else's shoulders. <laughs> Thank you.